rain showers and temperatures not as warm as yesterday. So right now, in South Dakota, we have 53 mile per hour wind gusts in Buffalo. You go up to Montana now, 43 mile per hour gusts. Same thing in Hedinger in North Dakota. So as we go from south to north, we do bring in lesser winds. But we now have gusts being reported in Garrison. Jamestown, that's to 30 miles per hour. I've yet to see one in Bismarck, but don't worry. The winds, they're all sliding towards the southeast. So eventually, I think everybody across the state here will bring in 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts. Stronger yet, if you're in Bowman, like we're seeing now at 40 to 45, by the time the sun sets, which is now past 8 p.m., closer to 8.30, well, that's when the winds will be dying down. And then even tonight, still a little bit on that breezy side as our lows go right to the 20s, in some cases to the 30s as our skies do clear. So for today, we do have those winds as the big story. So here's the snapshot 3 o'clock this afternoon. Again, we hone in in the southwest, strongest of the winds. We go up towards the north, like Highway 2, 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So there's really no escaping that, just not quite as strong as we go off towards the Fargo-Moorhead area. 7 o'clock this evening, though, our shower activity, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder. I wouldn't be surprised, but I do think the instability chances are fairly low. So I think just rain shower. Uh, and even then, those chances will be coming to an end. Tomorrow, 5 a.m., northwest winds persist, but getting better with winds. So we put this map into motion here. Here's the low pressure system that's causing the problem. It's battling out with a high out towards our west, tightened pressure gradient. So that's why we're windy. 4 o'clock this afternoon, we bring in the rain showers, and I think it'll stick to rain. Overnight, the winds improve. Lows fall back to the 20s and 30s. And then hello to the sunshine once we go to our Thursday. Thursday afternoon, 50s to the 60s, so still about the same from what we're seeing now. But more sunshine prevails as we go into our Friday afternoon as a high now, now builds. We welcome in the 60s. Look at the winds. They're out of the south now. So that will be our warming trend because we do see a ridge build. So today we're locked in with a trough that indicates low pressure, usually in cooler temperatures. Makes sense from yesterday. Well, here comes this ridge just in time for the weekend. Ridges usually mean warmer air. And then we're in this pattern of change here. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. It is short lived because now we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. We introduce another trough and I am foreseeing a drop in temperatures with our daytime highs. As we go into our 50s, 60s, and even the 40s are all possible. But hello to the weekend. I mean, it's really going to be a gorgeous April re weekend. A little bit cooler yet on Sunday, but as far as the eye can see here, Krista, we are looking at still maybe a little bit of a wind on Thursday. But once we go to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a wonderful 72 hours. Afterwards, we do build in rain chances, cooler temps. All right. Good news for the weekend. We just got to get through the wind and a little bit of rain today. And protect your uh, skin. Of course, wear sun sunscreen. That's that right. Is a strong that sun, sun is nowadays. getting strong.